What's up guys, Triarius Wargaming here. So I did want to give you a update uh, this past weekend. Actually, I went to a convention, put on a uh, convention game at uh, Carnage Con in Killington, Vermont, inverse barbarian battle. So I didn't have a lot of opportunity to take like video footage um, and whatnot because it was kind of like go, go, go. But a uh, very successful game, um, a big shout out to the participants. So we ended up, I think, having eight players in the game and they, they, I think they had a great time and they, were, they helped me set up and everything as well. Um, yeah, the, the game slot, I, the only one I could get booked into was at 8 a.m. Uh, so, and then it opens at 7.30 a.m. So, you know, 30 minutes uh, to set up is not enough time, obviously, with a big game. So they were very uh, considerate in helping uh, deploy the troops and whatnot. Um, and it, it was a great game. So I got a couple pictures and a little video um, and then we'll, we'll do talk about it afterwards a little bit maybe and um, that's the video. So our scenario was basically um, a Romans and barbarians encountering uh, each other kind of in Italy during you know the fall of the empire. The barbarians had an ambush in the woods. And then I will attack you. Oh, this is I'll attack you again. Okay. Well, that was basically the only uh, bit of footage I ended up taking for the game, but uh, oh well, I, it was a big success. I mean, I pretty much had all my Romans on the table, and then maybe like two thirds of the barbarians. Um, so, what is coming up next in terms of like participation games? Um, that's the last one for this calendar year. Uh, I'll definitely be going to the Carnage one again. Um, hopefully, maybe like bring you a little more next time. But you know, they were they were only able to get me in on that 8 a.m. on the Saturday. Uh, so the next stuff we have got coming up. So there is a convention in Massachusetts uh, in in February, which I was thinking about going to. But if you know anything about New England, February is like. Uh, not a good season for driving. We've got like the snowstorms or the ice storms or whatever. Um, so if the weather is clear, you know, it wouldn't really be that much of a difficulty for me to, to drive a couple hours down to Massachusetts. But if we get snow, like I'm just not doing that drive. Like putting your life on the line for the miniatures um, is just not worth it for me. And also, you know, with the amount of snow we get, like, you know, you could be hours delayed. Like if sometimes like, you know, you get a uh, whatever, 18 wheeler jackknife and on the highway, it's like the whole highway is shut down and you're stuck on the highway for hours or whatever. So it's just not, it's hard for me to submit a game that far in advance, like without knowing what the weather is gonna be like that week anyways. So probably can't do that one, even though it'd be a, it would be a great convention to go to. So what we're looking at is probably Mayhem, uh, which is a convention in Lebanon, New Hampshire, and that is in April. So the next game I want to put on it is in April, and we're going to do probably Late Romans and Barbarians again. I am getting a little tired <laughs> of using those same armies over and over again, but those are also like my best armies that I have done. My other armies like don't really compare, I feel like. Um, so the goal is going to be to, to get some fresh troops kind of like painted up for that um, what we're probably looking at is I want to do some kind of like more cavalry like Hunnic cavalry or something for the barbarians and we'll do like a, a Hunnic raid and I think I think this game will be a little more objective based um, with the idea being like the Huns have to destroy some of the villas and the Romans are trying to protect them something like that uh, and there's a really good scenario in the old edition of Hail Caesar, which I think, honestly, I liked the old edition way more than the new edition uh, because it had the awesome Perry collections in there. And the, there's, there's an awesome Perry Bronze Age army in there that, you know, the, from the Perry's personal collection, they also sculpted all those miniatures for War Games Foundry. And the newer edition replaces it all with, like, the Warlord uh, miniatures and whatnot. But those Perry collections are awesome. But they have a late Roman um, game in there with the Perry late Romans that they sculpted for Foundry. And they're set up for that. So I'm going to kind of base it loosely off that game, but using it to the strongest rules. 
But anyways, I just wanted to give a quick update. I know this is like the first video I put out in like a month. Uh, there's reasons for that. I haven't really done any hobby stuff in the past month uh, for the most part. And that's just because of life busyness. But um, we'll have some more updates coming soon. All right, guys. So have a great afternoon. See you in the next one.